David's Tutorials and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use filters in YouTube to get better search results. I would venture to guess that most viewers of YouTube simply watch whatever videos are recommended there on the right hand side of the YouTube recommendation screen when they get there after watching another video that's been recommended. I know most people know how to search for a video or even a topic using the search box at the top of the YouTube screen, but did you know you can also filter those search results to get more of what you're looking for? You can limit your search results with a filter, limiting your uploads to show them by date, by type, by duration, or by feature. You can also have YouTube sort these search results so the items you're looking for appear at the top of the list. Of course, the first thing you need to do is open up a web browser and go to YouTube. Browsers usually remember when you log into YouTube, and when you come back to YouTube in a later session, you will still be logged in. If you are not logged in, you will see the sign in button right here in the upper right corner of your screen. You do not need to be logged into YouTube in order to use the filter and sort results. You only need to be logged in if you want to leave comments or a thumbs up or that sort of thing on a video. However, if you are logged in, then all of your searches and the sortings and the filters and everything you look for will be recorded by YouTube and they will use those results that you have searched for to give you better recommendations in the future. Let me show you how this all works with an example. Here we are on the main YouTube page, and you can see I am not signed in. Let's search for a topic. Oh, how about flash mob? Those are always fun. You can see the list of videos I have here all relate to flash mob. But as of right now, YouTube has decided for me which ones will be at the top of the list and which ones will be farther down. The first thing I want to call your attention to is the filter button at the top left just under the YouTube logo. When we click that button, it drops down a powerful set of controls you can use to filter and sort your search results. If, for example, we only want to see flash mob videos that have been uploaded this month, we simply click that link and that's what we see. However, these videos are still sorted in whatever order YouTube decides is best for us. If we want to sort these videos to show the most recent videos first, we simply click on the filter button again and look on the right side under the sort by column. There we can see the default sort by is by relevance. Of course, that's as determined by the YouTube robots. However, by clicking on upload date, we can now see the most recent videos are at the top of the list. Let's use a more practical example. Let's say you're in the market for a new television set, and you want to see reviews of TV sets. Now, as with most electronics, we know that reviews that are more than a year old are pretty much useless because they're well out of date. So we want to see the more recent reviews of TV sets. So to do this, we will search for TV reviews, and let's add the year, which right now is 2020 but we can still see some of these reviews are several months old. So let's click filter and sort by upload date. Now the most recent reviews are at the top of the list. Looking at some of the other filters you have available, you can see you can filter by type, meaning by video, by channel, by playlist, or even by movie or show. What's a show? I had that question, so I tried it out. I did a search for home improvement and filtered the results by show. Here are some of the results I got. You should try checking that for yourself. You can also filter by duration, showing only videos that are less than four minutes or only those videos longer than 20 minutes. Or you can also filter by features, which is a long list of types of videos where you can limit your search results. Look that list over, and then when you get some time, go ahead and play with it and see exactly how it works and see if there's anything in there that you need to use in the future. Well, there you have it. It's the YouTube filter 
and sort capability, which will help you be able to see more of the kind of videos that you want to see and less of the ones you don't want to see. And once you do a few of these filters and sorts and lookups, the YouTube robots will have a much better idea of what it is you like and they will give you better recommendations in the future. Speaking of those YouTube robots, you can let the YouTube robots that you like this video just by giving us a great big old thumbs up there and leaving a comment down in the comment section below. Also, you should probably share this video with other people you know who watch YouTube. That's just about everybody these days, isn't it? If you're already a subscriber, thank you so very much. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you're not a subscriber, why not go ahead right now? Click that subscribe button and then the bell icon to be notified the next time we post another great tutorial right here on David's Tutorials.